Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Ladies and gentlemen What comes to your mind when you hear Beja Habibi's name? Are you thinking the same thing? I'm sure that you are familiar with Beja Habibi Many of you have written biographies Beja Habibi have even filmed the story of his life He is an extraordinary inspirational feature for the Indonesian people Okay, today I want to tell you about the biography of B.J. Habibi, the father of Indonesian technology related to B.J. Habibi's childhood, B.J. Habibi's education period, and B.J. Habibi's career. Baharuddin Yusuf Habibi was born in the South Sulawesi city of Parepare on June 25, 1936. Bicha Habibi's father is Alwi Abdul Jalil Habibi, who is a Korontalo agriculture expert, and the mother name Er Atuti Marini Purbowarjoyo, which is an eye specialist from Yogyakarta. Bicha Habibi lived with his seven brothers. Bicha Habibi's father died when he was 14 years old. Since the father's departure, Eventually, the Becha Habibi family moved to Bandung. In 1951 to 1954, Becha Habibi received a high school education at the Dago Catholic High School, Bandung. Then, got to college at the Bandung Institute of Technology. Becha Habibi studied only four years at Bandung Institute of Technology then continue his studies in Germany for 10 years. In the 1955, Beja Habibi left for Germany without a scholarship from the Indonesian government. His mother paid for Beja Habibi studying engineering in an aircraft construction specialist in Rhein-Westfalen Aachen Technik High School in Germany. In 1960, Beja Habibi successfully completed his studies for a diploma with a perfect predicate. And then, in 1961, he continues his studies at the Technik High School on the Faculty for Mass in New Zealand, Aachen. While studying his doctorate, in 1962, Beja Habibi married with Hasri Ainun and departed her to Germany. The Becha Habibi's attempt finally worked, in which he graduated his engineer doctorate with cum laude or perfect score of 10. Ladies and gentlemen, in addition to his success in education, Becha Habibi was also successful in career. Another interesting story from the biography of Habibi is that he was a genius for coming up with a crack theory that was finally named the formula for a Habibi factor. This formula that makes Pecha Habibi have a nickname Mr. Crack. And then, in 1974, Pecha Habibi began his career at Nortanio Industry Airplane as leader. Under Beja Habibi, Kotor managed to develop technology for a number of plants. The most legendary works is the Katot Kacha in Flight First in 1995. Then, is that all his career? Absolutely no. Starting in 1998, exactly March 4th, Beja Habibi was appointed 7th Indonesian Vice President of Company Suharto. However, after Suharto's resign, Beja Habibi was appointed as the third president of Indonesia at his 62nd age with a short term of office from May 1, 1998 to October 20, 1999. However, since the reign of Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, Beja Habibi has been active in Indonesia as an advisor to the democratic process in Indonesia for the organization he created, namely Habibi Center. In addition to education and career, Beja Habibi is also famous for his love story with his wife, 
Ainun. Bichir Habibi has two children from his marriage with Ainun, which is Ilham and Tori. On May 22, 2010, Bichir Habibi's lost Hasri Ainun, who passed away because of ovarian cancer. The full story of Hasri Ainun Habibi is an irreplaceable feature for the life of Bichir Habibi, who is made into a book, which is Belahan Jiwa Habibi. Then, he died following his wife on September 11, 2019. Okay, that is the information about B.J. Habibi biography, the father of Indonesian technology. B.J. Habibi is a person who contributes to the history of the Indonesian nation. After I inform you all about B.J. Habibi biography, we know that before B.J. Habibi took office as President of Indonesia, he pursued his studies in Indonesia and also Germany. After that, he ran his career in Apple industry and politics. It proves that Habibi has a great influence on Indonesia. Therefore, it is his values of dignity that are worthy to be exemplary. I hope there will be a young Indonesian Habibi like him. Andrew Isnaini and Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh